This is John Hack's video guide number five, and in this section, we're going to be looking at the Hack Parameters tab in the John Hacks program. Before continuing this video, I must point out strongly that changing the settings on here will have an effect on your quad. If you're going to be testing settings, please ensure you fly somewhere safe that is clear of people, buildings, property, trees, etc. In the Hack Parameters section, you will notice there are two settings for Sport Mode and for Normal Mode Parameter. Making changes in the top one obviously will affect your settings in Sport Mode and the bottom one in what is called Normal Mode. I'd like to point out that in Normal Mode, i.e. just flying normally with something like a Mavic Pro, your maximum speed is limited if you have the front sensors turned on. This is a safety feature introduced by DJI. If you wish to have maximum speed in normal mode, you must disable your front sensors on your quad. I will suggest at first that you simply make a small change, such as changing 35 to 40, etc, etc, across them all, and go out and then test and see how that behaves for you. It can be handy if you have a laptop, you could take it out to the field with you and make changes on the fly as you're sat there flying. Once you've made the changes, you simply click on Write Parameters to Drone, and the drone will then have the new parameters written to its firmware. One of the best things with drone hacks is the ability to export and import parameters. Down here at the bottom, under Change Parameters, you will see an Export and Import and Advanced Parameters. We will cover Advanced Parameters in another video. Once you are happy with the, the parameter changes that you made to your quad, you can click on Export Parameters. Find somewhere to store it, I'll stick it in my documents for now, and then simply give the file a name. I will call this original, because that is what they are, and click on save. But not only can you export it, you can import them. This could be where a fellow pilot has sent a set of parameters that he thinks are good and would like you to try them out. All you would do is click on import parameters, find the file that you've been sent by your friend, Click on it, click open, a box will pop up, click on import parameters and write to drone and it will report import done, all parameters written. You'll notice now that all the sliders have also changed positions as well. Not only can you import and export, you can also use the system to set default values on your quad. Simply click on the set default values. There you go, all written back to default values. You'll also notice that the sliders have also moved back to their original positions. As an example on the Mavic Pro, I set my sliders to the following positions, uh, 55, 8, minus 8, 9, minus 9 for sport mode, and 49, 8, minus 8, 8 and minus 8 in normal parameter mode. And they'll show you a video of how the flight performed. With the settings set, I went out to local field, First thing I did was a climb test and I achieved a speed of 18.3 mile an hour maximum climb speed and my descent speed was 17.9 maximum on that. Then I flew across in sport mode and the best speed that I achieved in sport mode with those settings was 50.5 mile per hour. And then the same run, this time using normal mode with front VPS sensors turned off. And the maximum speed that I achieved on that was 45.8 mile per hour. Not far short of sport mode. Thank you for watching this video guide.